Yo, what's going on? This is Savage AF, brought to you by the world famous Laugh Factory. Yo, this is your man Shang. I wanted to, oh shit, oh, the, the, the thing flipped. Ah! Yo, I'm messing around. Make sure y'all jump on. We're going to talk about some shit today. You already know what it is. Thank you for guys for supporting us, waiting for Black Pedro. And now we're going to be actually, uh, we're going to be coming at you from Savage AF Radio from now on. So make uh, so we can start branding the shit out of this and make sure that we do it that way. I just sent him. Wait, he's right there. Oh, look out. Look out. He's in, it's Pedro. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, oh, that's nice of you. Thank you, uh, lady underscore Hazel. I pre appreciate it. Uh, yeah, did you see that little burp I just did? Ooh, that was nasty. Um, yo, thank y'all for jumping on. We got to talk about some shit today, goddammit. And uh, Obama went to ham today. What's going on? What's up? What's up? What's up, y'all? What's up, Eve? Eve in the building. Eve's underscore Apple uh, 7916. Uh, the, the, the beast mode and beast mode all the time. Waiting for Pedro to pop in because he pops in, but you don't know what. Bam! I told you. I told you. See, he was there. And some people call it lurking. I don't know if that was really lurking. But he gonna give you the daily, the daily. He's so stupid. Yeah, yeah, he's so stupid. He's so hey. stupid. Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, <laughs> no, I just said I was sitting here looking. Going, what the fuck is he doing? That's he's getting a couple block. drinks. Getting yeah. a couple drinks. Um, I'm going to. <laughs> I'm on a pin where you can go check us out on, uh, and everybody, make sure all the people that are on here need to start following Savage AF Radio, at Savage AF Radio, and also at Black Pedro. So you're going to follow both. And if you're not following me, what you need to do is follow. So I'm going to pin it on here now uh, to make sure that you check yeah. out the podcast version of the show. Yeah. And make sure you subscribe. Be sure yeah. to subscribe. I'm, I'm typing it, and he will let you know the other information while we do that. Shane Darlene, S-R-N-C, Craig on the left and right, St. Louis Girl, 8282. I see y'all stunned. E so, underscore so Apple 7916, our chief, chief dick chopper, you know. Uh, Dimple Snow, Breezy JJs, thank y'all for joining us. Savage AF, we're here Mondays through Fridays uh, on IG Live, Mondays and Fridays, 3 p.m., Tuesday through Thursday, 6 p.m., that's Pacific Standard Time. If you miss us on the live, you can catch the audio on wherever you get your podcasts, okay? Wherever. Uh, iTunes, Google Play, Slacker, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, SoundCloud, Spotify, okay? Uh, and then if you want to see this, though, and you still don't get it live, but you still you still want to see the video, well, that's what YouTube's for, baby. <laughs> We're YouTubing now. Uh, and we're actually now, you want to look for Savage AF World, okay? Savage AF World on YouTube. That's how we're doing it now, guys. So make sure you uh, come get us. Come find us. Uh, that's where we're doing it. Those are all the ways you can get us. But, you know, if you want to come and talk shit and get bodied by the audience or, or you know, join a community of love and hope and anger and hate and inspiration all at the same time, then come on through, y'all. Damn. Damn, Pedro. A lot, a lot going and, on here. And, and I know we got the, we got the daily guy. I'm trying to see. You throw me off. Um, no, I'm just letting y'all know that also, um, now again, make sure you check us out, Savage AF Radio, which is now the other Instagram under the name for it. Basically, we want to make sure that you guys, all you people, go over to Savage AF Radio. So follow Savage AF Radio on IG. Yes, follow us Jimmy. on there. That's yes, I'm broadcasting. follow, follow. I'm going to be broadcasting from there from now on, man. So when we do the live, I'm, I'm on Savage AF. We're going to be posting more content there, too. So you know, get with it and pass that on. Spread it with your friends. Right. Cheers Definitely pass it on. Pass it on. I also want to make sure that you guys know um, that we appreciate y'all. And we appreciate y'all. Um, but we need you to share with your friends, 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 friends. And if you don't share with your friends, 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 your side chick, your side piece, um, you know, I know that, you know, weed is legal in some places, but some places it ain't. So your weed dealer, um, if you got a person that delivers you food, tell them about it too. Savage AF, okay, on IG Live. Make sure you tell them about it. We're going to talk about the things that they don't expect two brothers to talk about. They always want us to talk about the big booties. But we yeah. love big booties. But at the same time, there's other shit going on in the world. So, um, and also, by the way, uh, 
we were just on another show, which is wild. Now we're on this show. Uh, and we want, huh? Dope living. I want to shout out Mills. I want to shout out Greg. Thank you so much for having us on the show. Um, we appreciate y'all very, very much. Cool motherfuckers, man. Very cool. Nicole, what's up, Nicole? J376. What's up with you? What's up? What's up? What's up? Look at you with your, your breasts. This is. Thumbs up. Um, the yeah, other, other thing. We see you, Charles Washington. We see you. What's up, Charles? Um, yeah. Yeah, man. So, uh, yeah. And we, we want to also, uh, no, I know that we got the daily run up coming up, but there is some something uh, in the daily run, run up. But uh, we want to make sure that we start sharing this more. So even when you see the IGTV, you can actually share that and also share it to Savage AF Radio. So we want to continue that pop, you know, pumping up on and on. And then you got to also follow at Black Pedro. You got to follow. All right. So I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that. What you say? Yeah. Just uh, deemed me. Deemed. Deemed. Deemed me. OK, please. Oh, okay, yeah, Earthquake. Um, yeah, I'm, yeah, I just did Earthquake show. I did Earthquake show Monday. Shout out to Earthquake. Got picked up for another season with LOL, um, Kevin Hart's LOL. Uh, big ups to Earthquake for doing that. Earthquake's rocking out the Chuckles down in Jacksonville um, this weekend. So if you get a chance, go check him out too. Now, Pedro about to give you the run up, or, and it's, it's we going in today. That's what the fuck we doing today. That's what we it is, y'all. Savage AF. It is uh, October twenty first, two thousand twenty, uh, and we're gonna end the show today talking about that nigga in the alley. <laughs> I'm your mama. I'm your daddy. I'm that nigga in the alley. Uh, I'm your pusher. Purdue Pharma is gonna is set to pay eight point three billion dollars for slanging them things. <laughs> okay, uh, we're gonna talk about that. But before we get into that, uh, we're gonna talk about dying for a cure. Uh, as one of the vaccine trial uh, patients has died. Yeah. We're going to talk about that. Uh, but before we talk about that, <laughs> he got jokes, okay? Uh, your boy Obama today, former president of the United States, first black man to ever do it. Was very smooth, that. very suave. Com comedy, it was almost like Comedy Central Row style. Like, he, he, was, he was getting into it. We're going to talk about that in Philly today. Uh, but before we talk about that, we're going to talk about one of the big things that Obama clowned Trumpy Dumpty for, uh, and that is money in the bank, China what you drank. <laughs> okay, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> money in the bank, China what you drank. Uh, it has come out through the efforts of, you know, um, the exposing of, of Trump's tax records uh, through, through the cases in New York, uh, that this motherfucker right now, has a bank account in China that we did not know about. And when I say this motherfucker, I mean Ipotis, Ipotis, the impeached president of the United States has a bank account in China. And, and like Obama said, could you imagine if he had a fucking account in China, they'd be calling him Beijing Barry. Yes, <laughs> yes pretty on the left and the right. That Obama yes. was clowning today, but but before we get into that, let, let's look at the reality of this. This is through, through an entity that um, I think it's like Trump Hotels China or some shit. But through, through right. that entity, it was, it was like it was making like a million dollars a year. Right? Uh, Trump becomes president. All of a sudden, there's an infusion of $17 million into that account from which Trump himself withdraws Fifteen point one million dollars, dog. Right. Come on. And also, it explains a lot of the other stuff that's going on. It explains a lot of other shit that's going on pertaining to Trump. Even though he's four hundred over four hundred million dollars in debt, and another seventeen million he's going to have to pay in fines. So basically, the fifteen he was trying to get, make sure he kept everything hush hush, and it didn't work. So not only is he in trouble across the board pertaining to tax evasion and taxes and the New York state uh, prosecutors all up in that ass, then he also is in trouble for uh, uh, more. Like, let me put it this way. Imagine you have a shit sandwich and then they put extra shit on the shit sandwich. He just got hit with another shit sandwich. And I hope that they put the shit out tomorrow 
for the debate, which, by the way, we're going to be on after the debate tomorrow. We're not going to be on at our normal time. We're going to be after the debate because we have to watch that train wreck. Uh, Jason Stewart is here. Thank you, Jason Stewart. Very funny comic. Very funny comic. Definitely. And and great actor. You got to check him out. He's 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 doing both. Um, I think that Trump, this, you would think this would be the nail in the coffin of this orange vampire, but it's not. It's just not. I mean, there's well, nothing... No, I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, but you know, it, this it, this is serious stuff, and this, this is this is why it was, you know, this is one of those reasons why you and I, I have a feeling this is just the tip of the iceberg, but, um, you know, where you have one of those things. Uh, this is why there was a precedent where presidents would disclose their full finances, uh, their full taxes, to make sure that they're not, you know, beholden to the mob or. You know that they're not <laughs> running down the Knicks check cashing to get their <laughs> the president's check cashed or whatever like that. You know. What hey I mean? man, just give me fifteen million to hold me over till next week. Uh, you know, fifteen you know, million, I, nigga. So Let me have fifteen but, million. But I just need y'all to carry this for me. So, um, you know, you got to make sure your president is, is tight like that. Um, and so you see now why Trumpy Dumpty has fought so hard to keep his taxes hidden because. Realistically, the the financial disclosure form that he and all other politicians fill out um, does not isn't detailed enough. So he he could mention he like he mentioned this company in that disclosure, but doesn't. And the company, by the way, is THC China Development, which sounds like a great weed development company like GH <laughs> but it sounds like yeah it sounds like something to get you high man get you high man Trump Hotel Trump Hotel that's what that is but um THC China Development LLC uh you know he 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 he, he, he disclosed that company but through that through the paperwork he filled out he did not have to disclose that 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 company banks in China which which you know probably would have been a problem or something he would have to um, pull himself away from, you know what I mean? Um, right. I, I don't think, though, that this is going to bring him down. Like Eve said, it, Eve's underscore Apple said, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, I, I, I won't say that it doesn't matter. I, I, it's not going to, it's not going to dissuade any any of his base. Nothing will, right? That that's it. You know what I mean? It, it it just won't. That that won't happen. They don't care about that. Um, but I know it, it's it could, sad. It could, it's sad that they don't care. It's sad, it could, but this could lead to something legal potentially. Oh, like I, I, said, I, believe about time. I believe it's just the the tip of the iceberg. So, oh, and once, I, he, I, once he's you know, out, and once he's out of office, free game. We own that ass now. You know I'm, I'm telling you, as soon as he walk out of office, he's gonna get tackled. Like, <laughs> he's gonna be the first. Be the first you. president they escort out in handcuffs, dog. That would be amazing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think that, but you know what? His followers ain't going to do shit. They're just going to follow him. It don't matter what he do. They're just going to be down for him. But the end of the day is he still could win. Don't get it twisted. Don't get comfortable. Don't get, you know, don't be like, well, we got this in the bag because he just caught cop with the secret bank account. Nope. These yeah, motherfuckers will still come out and vote in force, especially day of. November 3rd, the Republicans going to come out in force and don't get it twisted. So the, the Democrats, you got to, we can't just win by like, hey, we won Michigan by two votes. We got to slam dunk this bitch and show people around the world that America ain't a bunch of fuck sticks. But there's a bunch of fuck sticks that said, as soon as Trump loses, there's going to be a civil war. And that's why we have Black Pedro. Yeah, yeah it's like, <laughs> you better find the I don't know if you somewhere. knew that. All um, you people, Savage AF Radio, make sure you follow at Savage AF Radio. Make sure you follow at Black Pedro. We're, we, we're actually going to be streaming from that. But make sure you follow at Black Pedro, too. So um, I just wanted to make sure that you guys know this. Um, even if he does get some kind of, you know, some kind of trouble, they're not going to do it before the election. It's two weeks. It's two weeks. They're going to be like, well, let's see what happens. But then again, he's already got he got lawyers, a, a team of lawyers ready to say that it's a fake election and it's rigged and new and that. It was rigged. I was cheated. I was wronged. I, my mouth looks like an anus. I can't believe it. I got the COVID and I beat it because I never really fucking had it. 
Or maybe I did, maybe I didn't, maybe I just did, maybe I didn't. He does all that shit, man. And now they caught him with some more shit. He had women saying that he um sexually abused them. And they still didn't get this motherfucker. He is the Teflon Don. I mean, and I just don't think this is one of the things. We could say all the bad things in the world about this motherfucker, and he still will get, a, get away with it because Caucasians that like him really like him. So, Eve's underscore Apple, I got to stop you from banging on Gemini, okay? I'm a Gemini, too. All right, the man signed, he's a, he's a sociopath and a psychopath, and, he, and, he, and he's probably a June Gemini. June Geminis can be a little weird, but May Geminis, like myself, we run the world, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, and El Noob, when the revolution starts, I'm not going to wear my Jordan, so don't worry about that, all right? Stop bringing that shit up. Constantly well, you know what? You, but, but you, you did, but you did. I did notice Miss Abra stepping in late, and she's just trying to be quiet and then act like she's been here the whole time. But you, you do have, have but you do have Jordans, though. You do have Jordans, though. One pair, they're the coldest ones you've ever seen, back to fuck up. That's true, that's true. Real shit, real shit. Hey, um, uh, I just... I, I just wanted to let people know that I think that this is, I think it's another nail, hopefully, in his coffin, but I really don't see it as something where it'll stop his voters from coming out in, in droves. In fact, it might empower them, like, they're trying to get our president, and he's our friend, and he's just like us, and God damn it, get off me, you're my sister, quit licking all my nipples. Ah, 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 vote. They're going to do it. They're going to vote their ass off. So you know what Democrats got to do is stop being fucking pussies. And people say, "I'm you, which side are you on? The Democrats can, they can fuck up some. You know, they can, they can fuck up just like, you know, like right at the end, they could do some dumb shit and go, well, we took the high road. No, fuck that. As soon as they're down in the polls, just keep kicking these motherfuckers till they're unconscious. That's what I want us to do. Yeah, um, and you know this. This is uh, this is why he. This oh lord, sorry. This is why he. Uh, <laughs> what what happened? I, I went to a web page because there's some breaking news, but this is why they uh, have one of those. Uh, that's why he does so much distracting, you know, to keep keep you away from his taxes, to keep you away from the fact. I'm looking at breaking news right now that. Uh, the the director of national intelligence john radcliffe said wednesday or today right now both iran and russia have obtained u.s voter registration information in an effort to interfere with the election including iran posing as the far-right group proud boys to send intimidating emails to voters this is one of the things this is exactly one of the things we talked about yesterday in terms of like the four tiers of the fact that they're gonna they're gonna do, yeah. Use to, uh, and then, and like we said, these are foreign entities that are gonna they're gonna use to uh, confuse people out there. So, so stay diligent. But breaking news: the the director of national intelligence is saying that Iran and Russia are are have have obtained voter registration information. Um, again, don't let that think that, that it's going to affect the vote. You still go out and vote. Right. But we see the efforts that these guys are putting forward, and, and that's that's how it's going down. But all of that is to distract you from things like that, right? He doesn't want you thinking that Russia is doing anything because he lives inside of Putin's butt. That's part of being an anal tampon. You, you, you stay in buttholes for a while. And that's snuggly. What, He's snuggly. Yeah. And He's snuggly Pence, is next to the, Pence is next to his left nut. So you got to look at it from that standpoint that Right now, the way the shit's going, and I know there's a lot of black people saying, man, fuck it, man, vote. And vote don't mean nothing, brother. It don't. I heard somebody, and then he tried to call me brother, which was hilarious. One dude's like, brother, let me tell you something. You vote, man. You's a sucker, too. I'm like, look, can't be part of it unless you fucking try to change it. You, you know, you can't be, you can't change nothing unless you're part of it. And the end of the day is, you know, and, and Miss Adverb is called a suppository. Well, yes, technically, and no, e but technically, you don't pull the suppository back out. And every now and right. then, they have to pull Trump, Trumpy Dumpy, out of Putin's ass so he could say, you know, ass things. And then he goes back <laughs> in there at night and and snuggles up inside. Wait a minute, ass They're, things? What is yeah, a ass like? What is he, ass thing? He well, got to say know, he ass thing. A, you, he, you said it. He has an an anal list. So whatever he says are going to be ass things. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's true. Yeah. So, so technically, 
he, he functions in in the space of a suppository, but as in the form of a of a tampon, an anal tampon. So that that's where I got that from. So, but thank you for the clarification <laughs> and and, and brief discussion. Um, <laughs> We're so going speaking, to hell. Speaking of black people saying some shit right here on Savage AF, y'all. Uh, your boy, President smooth. Barack Obama, he went smooth he went, criminal. He went hamburger today. I mean, he was he was leaning on the podium like I mean, <laughs> this guy. <laughs> like he was in, like Comedy Central roast mode. Like he was putting well, all the things, like all the jokes. He yeah. See, E Paul Eve underscore uh, seventy nine sixteen said uh, he was he's was a butt plug. That's the only thing that I think Obama didn't rock out and say he's a butt plug. Yeah. But um. He just he was very smooth with it though. I I I love it though. I love the way he did it though. Jenny Cohen Sanchez, we love you back. Um yeah, Barack Obama was in Philly today, the city of brotherly love. We're bully, we're bully, we're bully. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, yeah, it, it was a driving style. He walked up with the mask on took it off to speak, put it back on when he was done talking, but for about half an hour, really just clowned the shit out of uh, Trumpy Dumpty, um, hit, hitting him with ratings, because you know when they did the head-to-head -head town hall, right. he lost, he lost uh, by a couple million vo uh, viewers or so um, in, in, the, in the ratings war uh, that he was trying to create, that he swear he's, he's going to win all the time. Uh, so he lost that. Thank, thank goodness to boycott NBC for that night. But, um, you know, so he, he's hitting him there. And you know those are the things that, as silly as it is, that's exactly how you – that is Trading Places, E. Thank you. Hit us about you. you, you we have some love. Right. It wasn't before. coming to America. Everybody thought it was coming to America. It wasn't. Trading it was places. Trading, trading Places. places. Yes. Right. There you go, Eve. Thank you, underscore Apple. Um, but, yeah, man, you know uh, – <laughs> He he was you know as silly as it is for a president of the United States, this is one of those things that hurts his, that really hurts his feelings, like not getting ratings, and and Obama just hit him with it, dragged him through it, um, and just just clowned him for all the things for having a Chinese bank account, Beijing barrier. That's that's an Eminem eight mile move where you you hit him with what what they were gonna hit you with first. Oh, he he pulled Take an Eminem. He pulled an Eminem. Yeah, for sure. But I think that I think the main thing about it that I like about it is you can say whatever you want about like, oh, I didn't like Obama. He's this, he's that. But Obama, when it comes to speeches, when it comes to just the way he talks, is absolutely <laughs> smooth. He's smooth as shit. Felicia Chappelle said, Lionel Joseph. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we, we met at the Haile Selassie Pavilion. Yeah, yeah you know what it is. <laughs> You don't Not remember me? <laughs> Not even physical. Yes, yes, yes. We know, we know. All right, guys, here we go. Uh, stay focused. We can't. We can talk about Dan Aykroyd. And we, will Curtis 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 we will get thrown off. We will get thrown off. Absolutely. Curtis, we can talk about Dan Aykroyd and Jamie Lee's Curtis Breast all oh, show. Trust me, but we're gonna stay focused, uh, like Obama was, and his main message was really to to vote. Um, you know, earlier Shane and I were on a, a show uh, podcast, uh, Dope Living. TV and um, you know we were talking about ice, the Ice Cube thing and the contract with Black America and the Platinum Plan, um, but one right. thing Obama did address and you know this was this was targeted at leftist liberals like myself, even though I'm already on that that wagon at this point. But you know it's it, it, it was that idea of you still have to participate and um, you know kind of who would you rather deal with? You know what I mean? You 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 know you can't. You can't just screw all these other people. And that's what he said, because you'd be leaving all the, the rest of the Democratic Party behind if you choose not to participate, um, just because you're disenchanted with uh, Joe Biden or Cop Mala or how right, and, and also, and, and I think that Obama, the way Obama put it is, you know, he, he, as clearly as he can, with a little bit of tongue in cheek, was kind of basically saying, you know that motherfucker is horrible. Come on, y'all. It was more like, come on, y'all. Come on, son. Come on, son. You know the motherfuckers. He's, he's, you know, weird. He's a weirdo. The motherfuckers orange. One of you want to trust of, somebody that's orange? One of one of Obama's one of Obama's punchlines is this. I mean, what? You know, like, like just you know, just like, to, like, come on, guys. This dude's an idiot. Just, what? You know. So, 
that, that that's what we're left with at the end of this this first Trumpy uh, uh, term or whatever is. Right, but I mean, but do you think that Obama? But you got so many people right now. It's so crazy right now because there was also some threats that came out because they knew Obama was going to be in Philly, and also it, whether it's the Russians or it's you know interference or whatever. But the Proud Boys, I saw them on video flat out say that you know they were going to go after anybody that opposes Trump. Now which makes people scared to go vote and shit like that. But the fucked up thing about it is they said that if you think one of them said that if you think we can't get to a governor, we can get to a, a ex president too, which was on, aimed at Obama. But I think he doesn't realize Obama got security up the ass. You know what I'm saying? So it it did, was one of the things did. I didn't worry about, but my they friend was worried about it. They didn't get yeah. to a governor anyways. They're, those right. guys are sitting in jail like jihadists that they are. They didn't get to Oh, yeah, but yeah, they still, they still, they still are out there, you know, slinging their rhetoric. But I like the fact Obama just seemed so chill at ease. And he was just basically like, y'all know what it is. I mean, this guy? I mean, that's the only thing he didn't do is the comedy take. You mean this guy? This guy? That's the only shit he didn't do. And he, yeah, Obama is very smooth with it. You know what I'm saying? And I like Michelle, too. Michelle said some gangster shit too before, so I mean, it, it made me it made me feel like, damn, I miss I miss Obama. Does that make sense? What I'm saying, like, oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah just uh, like um, just some normalcy, some intellect, some humor that actually works. He smiles because Trump doesn't smile that much. He's just a evil old crotchety piece of orange tangerine fuckstick, and just smooth with it. So it somebody said terrible. vanilla ISIS. El Nuke said Nuke. Van Vanilla Isis referring to the uh, cracker monkeys who tried to kidnap the governor yeah. of Michigan. Uh, pretty on the left and the right, yeah. Obama said they had 10 years and they have no plan. And that was with, that was in regards to their big, you know, Trump D. Dumpty's big stance. Even above the wall, his biggest thing was to repeal Obamacare. And that's something that the Republicans, even before Trump got into office, have been trying to do since uh, Obama and the Democrats uh, got it enacted. Right. It Over 35 had, times he attempted it. Yeah, and they've talked about repealing, repealing, and tried, and tried, and tried, but have also never presented a solid replacement plan. So it just it just really doesn't make sense at all. Uh, the, the shit that they talk about it when they don't have a plan. And Obama called them out for that as well. So um, there, was a, there was a lot of calling out, but not just of Trumpy Dumpy and the Republicans, but of of the liberal left, you know what I mean? To to you got to participate, or you're gonna fuck this up for the the entire Democratic Party, and, and just the message to go vote, vote, vote in general. You know what I mean? Just, just right. That. And then, let me, well, I was gonna ask, I was gonna ask the Savage AF listeners. By the way, again, Savage AF brought to you by the world famous Laugh Factory. Make sure that you subscribe to the podcast version of the show, which is on iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Sound cloud and make sure you subscribe and also go to the youtube channel which is savage af world it is now savage af world go there and i'm gonna ask you for two more things just two more things y'all make sure y'all uh make sure y'all follow at black pedro and make sure you follow at savage af radio that's the that is the new not new but we have it's now new um IG channel that we're going to be basically driving as much traffic and as much stuff to as possible. And we got some new people jumping on Spirit Ceremony. Thank you for joining on. What's going on with you? Um, thank you for some of the people joining on. Uh, uh, simple, new people. Simple, uh, LEC4485. I, I don't know if I'm saying it right. I have to wear my reading glasses because I'm 75 years old. But um, I think that the main, and I look good for 75, you motherfuckers. Um, I think that the main thing that Obama did, because they said that, you know, he still has an approval rating of 53 or some shit like that. And I think Trump's approval rating is in the low 40s, if not high 30s. And even at that, people that don't like Biden, guess what? <clears throat> Biden approval rating and likability rating is 12 points higher than fucking Trump's. Yeah. I just posted something about that. 12, I mean, he kills him when it comes to just do you like this motherfucker or do you like that motherfucker? And 
they don't like him as much. No. And he even said it once in one of his rallies. Suburban women, will you please like me? Uh, you bitch. That's not how you ask for pussy. That's just <laughs> not... Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can I... Deborah can you please Hyde. give me some pussy? Can you please? Please give me some pussy? Deborah Hyde, we see you. Zeal, Dawson. Hey, Deborah. We see you. We see you. Um, yeah, man. So, I don't know, man. Uh, Trumpy Dumpty, Obama. He could win, though. He's, do you think he could win? Do you still think he could win? You, you know, any, any, I'm going to go the opposite of what he said. If he loses, uh, and because that, that that's what it is, man. It's like, you know, him having a Chinese bank account, you know, he's he's been trying to get us to to look into Biden's family's foreign affairs when really it's his family that is the foreign affair. You know what I mean? And when when he talks about voter fraud and 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 the Democrats cheating, that's because it's him that's actually cheating. You know, he he, like he, he, he always him. projects. He always projects the, his negativity and say, "You're a liar." No, you're a liar. No, you're a liar. He, he's like a he's like a petulant fucking child that needs to be sucker punched in the throat as many times as possible, and then hide his body under some fucking wood. I know that's that. Okay, that was a little extreme. Okay, that was a little rough. But I mean, out of the election, I still think that there are states where he that are are too close to call, and a motherfucker could actually pull it off. And that's because we got a, a, a portion of people that don't want to vote. He'd huh? be the one. He'd be the one cheating. No, I, I think, absolutely. I mean, we got we got already a record number of ballots out there. Um, you know, over a quarter of the you know eligible voters have voted already. So. Uh, it, 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 this this won't be a turnout issue. He, he's already said what the issue is going to be, what he's going to make the issue. It's about the counting of ballots afterwards, the mail-in ballots, the massive number of mail-in ballots. He's gonna he's already tried to invalidate them so that on election night, when it when it looks like he has a lead because most people, most of his supporters are voting on election day, um, he can they can declare victory. And and just say no nah, that you know any other ballots don't count. So that 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 that's the way he, he's gonna win if he ever does is just by cheating, and then some kind of you know coup type shit where he just doesn't fucking. But you know the other way he could win, wrong. and that's it. And everybody noticed the reason people are so fucking mad not only because of Roe versus Wade, not but only because of the Affordable Care Act. They're mad because if. It goes to the Supreme Court, like it did before with, with Gore and Bush. Um, if you have one person that's leaning towards the right, heavy, like Amy, 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 come on, Amy. If they got you, people like Amy, she could basically decide the election with the other right wing fucking Supreme Court justice. And it basically could be the court saying, well, we side with Bush. Stop the count. Don't get it twisted. That could happen, and I think that's one of the major reasons that the Republicans were slam dunking her through. The, uh, aside he, from he the said, Affordable Care Act, he said that. Yeah, I mean, he, he flat said, out said it. He said he needs the court. Um, so Miss Adverb's solution, and she's always coming up with the best. <laughs> uh, you have to bury him under an endangered plant. So if you dig him up, it's a federal offense. And see, you know, we—that's not the way we think. We, we're very wow. Bad. I didn't. That's uh. That's logic. That's some first forty-eight shit right there. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, some oh pretty on the left called her Amy Ferret Ferret. <laughs> like, yeah. Yes. She was the uh, the most non answering question. I okay, I, I don't want all the women to get on my back when I say this. She was the most non answering questions bitch in the world. The fuck? Answer a fucking question. You don't got no opinions. I, I was sitting there going, you know how you want to take well, remember they used to take the paper clips, take gum band and flick the paper clip with a gum band like that? I wanted to just pelt her ass. She is such an asshole. AJ Fitz says, fair face, bear it. Yes, yeah. I agree. But um, I just feel like um, he could win that way. He could win by voter suppression. There's so many other ways he's going to cheat yeah, and win. All the ways. But we know that ahead of time. So why would it, if he does cheat that way, we should take it all the way to the end. The Democrats shouldn't concede. And people saying, are you not going to just, you know, if you lose? No, if I lose correctly. And, oh, Amy got a prostate. Damn. Damn, Eve. 
Y'all um, but um, you're getting personal now, guys. Come you're on. getting personal. That was that was a little bit under the belt. Um, I just think that if he wins that way, the Democrats still should see all the corruption and see what's going on. At least attempt to say, "Yo, something's fishy here," and it ain't pussy. You understand? Speaking of it's something, something fishy. Speaking oh wait, somebody. Uh, Cory Booker. Cory Booker served with her. Served her. Yeah. Oh, he. Cory Booker was like. Killing her about the racism. You mean you don't check? You didn't check nothing on racism. You ain't never did nothing pertaining to racism. Well, you know, I guess I don't know. It, ugh, bitch. Ugh. So speaking of something fishy, uh, we do have uh, in the AstraZeneca vaccine trial in Brazil a person who has died. Yes. Uh, and they they do have. I didn't mean to say that with a smile on my face. I'm sorry. It's just yeah. Uh, but they. they <laughs> you know what? They, they Wait a minute. You ain't gonna just gloss over that, Pedro. No, no. Say, because hey. They, no, by the way, because, somebody died. Well, I'm smiling it's, because yeah. they they're gonna continue the uh, trial. That I guess they they've deemed that they should go ahead and keep going though. Um, but uh, yeah, for me, listening to that, um, not not really a confidence builder. Uh, in 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 that trial and in the vaccine, right? I know right. there are many there are many going on, um, and I think they had a pause earlier in their process, and this could be part of the process. Now, listen, we don't know, we don't even know if the person who died actually took the the vaccine or a placebo or any of the thing. I didn't cheese, Miss Pandora. Okay, I was uncomfortably glowing, um, just, you know, trying to look nah, the right words. Nah, well, things. Pedro, nah, you kind of smile. Yeah, it's yeah, kind I mean, of a smile. I mean, well, it's, just, it's funny to me that they're just going to be like, ah, oh, no, keep going now. No, we're good. Yeah, no, they died. Ah, yeah, no, we'll, we'll just, we'll just, we'll just <laughs> yeah, one, all right. I know. One person yeah, I know, but, yeah, it's keep, keep but going. you know what? They said there was other problems where people getting sick. There was something wrong with the spinal cord fluid that would actually get fucked up from it. So there's different things, and they want to rush it out there, and it does make anybody with a common sense fuck about their life. Now, you know, I mean, it, now, Bree, it, Bree, what Bree, the Bree, fuck Bree, is that? Can Bree, you hear Bree, that? I hear that. Breezy JJ. I don't even know what that is. It doesn't show up here. Breezy JJ said they received the placebo. So um, I, I didn't see that in the article I read, but not, not denying it. I'm just saying I don't know. Um, but uh, if they did, then how do I stop that? that? I don't know. Do you, have an, do you have an alarm you set or something? No. No, that's <laughs> like somebody trying to call me through Facebook. I get fucking people trying to call me like we, we kick it or some shit. Right. Well, it'll go away, I'm sure. It, it won't let you just decline it or anything? No. How? Where? If I go off of this, I lose you. I don't know. There's a FaceTime call. Okay. I always have some shit going on. But I, I, I just cannot, I cannot stress to you enough, and this is not a commercial or an endorsement, but as a, as a Mac user, I, I just truly don't understand why you don't have an iPhone. <laughs> it's just so much easier to use and better. It's just a better thing, dog. I, I, well, you know what, you know what, I, I, because I already have this one, and I got to still, you know, I still got to pay for it. It's, no, no, uh -huh. it, it, here's what you do, dog. You, you, you go the, the Jesse Smollett route. Hire some Nigerians to fucking <laughs> molest your phone or whatever the fuck it was. Beat your phone up, and then get a new phone, dog. Just, just. Okay. Just, All right. Just. I I will I will take I will take that into account. Change. The phone's got to. I will I will take that into account. I am going to try. I do have a, a something that I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to do it through a, a you know a pad iPad, and which listen, I can do. And listen, listen, pretty on the left and right. It's not even about being an iPhone snob. It's just like I like it confuses me when people have like one platform for the computer and then another platform for their phone. I'm like. You got to just get all your devices doing the same shit. You know what I mean? They should all just be able to communicate seamlessly. So if you have PC, then yeah, <laughs> get, your, get your Android. But if, you have, if you're a Mac user, and I know you are, Shane, get a fucking iPhone, man. <laughs> I know, I know. I, I, know, bring, I had already soon, bought it, but check this out. If you bring the phone in the house, it'll just be like, Hi, computer. Hi, toaster. Are you Shang's TV? Oh, this is Shang's house. <laughs> like, it just, it knows everything. No, you know what? Uh, first off, uh, first off, I hear you. You're right. Um, by the way, AJ Fitz said it was Ice Cube calling me. Hey, <laughs> hey homie. Hey. 
And uh, and and they and but then L. Duke said, "Stop, Pedro. You're gonna have me wearing Jordans next. Android baby." And it, and it, oh, no. yeah, and apparently Eve is saying crazy shit. Um, don't be a follower. Keep your Android. Thank you very much. You know what? Screw you, people. Screw you. The name. No, the name I like. Android, I. No, Pedro's right. Android is is it, it connotes following. It, it's, no, it's I know. I mean, I, I got to do something. Use this phone. This is the Android model seven. But that's the first time that happened in eight months that where I had a FaceTime call come in. That's the first time that happened. So. That, you know, aside from FaceTime that. FaceTime call, um, but you've had, you've had every other kind of call. <laughs> no, I, you know what? I blocked, if you notice, I've been the last two times, I blocked, I blocked a bunch of those um, political calls. It's like I keep getting these, you know, so. I'm, we got, we got I'm, they, Eve, I'm not, Eve, back. don't listen to Eve, don't listen to fucking Pedro. I'm not getting an iPhone right now. Okay, there's a pandemic. I'm trying to knock out this rent for the next fucking year. How about that? Okay, um, for the next two years, if I can. But you know, but I, but I got to sell a lot of blood. Mm, I ain't doing gigs. Um, I think that, and and the, and the vaccine, the the vaccine um, that they're sent, they're toting out the same. Yeah, it'll be ready before the election. Fuck if I'm gonna take it and end up growing a penis out of my shoulder. Again. Fuck that. Be we like, hey, not, dick shoulder. No. We are not, uh-uh. not anti vaxxers, but they, they have they are globally rushing this process. And I, I know some places are doing it better than others, but any 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 I'm I'm you know, I'm with Kamala on this one. Any vaccine endorsed by this administration and not by Dr. Fauci, I'm I'm bouncing on that. I ain't fucking with it. I ain't fucking with it. I ain't fucking with it. And and by the way, I saw some people ask us. Um, about fifty cent. We will we'll get to that. We're going to talk about it a little bit. But uh, um, I, I didn't hear about that. I don't know about that. What fifty happened? basically endorsed fifty cent. Fifty uh, endorsed mm-hmm. Trump because he didn't want to get hit with the tax the tax cut um, that Biden's tax cut, which is basically anybody over four hundred thousand dollars is going to get hit. they have their tax increase. So it's only about five percent. But instead mm-hmm. of you, you know, instead of you making, um, you know. 400 million you're making 395 million yeah, 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 some, yeah. 7 million um, so so it's like it's it's bullshit and then 50 is out there right now of course he comes out right now and you know because i know 50 is a, a, a shit stirrer he likes to start shit but it's pertaining to his taxes and it's just some awesome bitch shit and maybe he should take the vaccine first it, it, but see um, but i you notice know, i ain't gonna say I've I've met this motherfucker. That dude's a hard knock nigga, and I, you know I talk shit about some people. That's one of those people I go. Oh, I don't know if I can take him. Just I, you know, because like, I'm I'm older now. Because I'm like I don't know if I can take this old motherfucker, this young motherfucker, this young this young nigga might get it. Uh, but I'm just telling you right now, uh, Fifty Cent really well, is making himself look like an ass. Well, more I mean, he, it highlights it highlights the. You know, I think the line that is drawn between the Democratic and Republican parties, which isn't to say that there aren't really rich people who are Democrats, but for the most part, the goal of the Republican Party has to been has been to make rich people richer through all sorts completely, of things, but but most effectively through their tax breaks. That this is this is the, Reaganomics is is the fun is fundamental economics to the Republican Party. This idea of if you give rich people tax breaks and let them keep their money, they will put that extra money back out into the economy, and it will trickle down to the rest of us. They'll make and it don't make it rain in the club. And no, they they hoard that money. They send it offshore. They do everything they can to not pay taxes, and they don't put any of the money back, just like the fucking president does. So the economics of it don't work. They only work for them. So you know what? Oh yeah, well, yeah. Know, I mean, it's the top. Hope, it's the top. I hope the tax hits you so hard that you got to change your name to seven and a half cents to motherfucking, <laughs> you know what I mean? To, yeah, you know, I mean, city. I mean, if you make over 400000 at one point in my career, I not now because it ain't, it ain't popping like that now because everything shut down. But at one point in my career, I made, uh, you know, I made a good amount of money. And uh, if I got hit with those kind of taxes, I'd be like, well, that's, you know, par for the course. I make. If you make six hundred thousand, you're gonna get hit with it. And uh but that was you know, that but I also didn't have a life then too, so I was just 
I was tour man. You come home and there's fucking this much dust on your fish tank, and the fish are just standing on top of the dust, going, "Nigga, really, nigga? Is that what we doing?" We it was like that. So never had no woman. Never had, but I did a lot of shows. Did a lot of shows, but I had no no woman. Didn't had a kid at the time, so it was just, it's crazy. But I, this is the main thing I think that um, since we jumped from somebody asked about fifty, I think that it it shows. Somebody said, uh, I think Eve underscore uh, seventy nine sixteen. Uh, uh, Eve's apple. I'm fucking it up. My bad, Eve. Is I think that they um, his pettiness. He's always been like that. Uh, and fifty cent always wants to put himself in the mix. Ice Cube put himself in the mix, and now people are talking about Ice Cube, but they're also not talking about 50 a lot because of what he's doing, and it just doesn't make him look good. And he un got to understand, black folks is going to look at him like, you asshole. I'm out here trying to make sure next month rent is paid, and I'm hoping I get this stimulus so I can get this fucking payment and the car payment and the kids, you know, paid and the internet paid. And you talk about, man, I'm going to lose, I'm going to lose about five, 600,000 more out of your millions. That is called bitch shit. And you know it. You you from Queens. You know that's bitch shit. That's bitch shit. Come on, man. It ain't all money, you know, especially just, when you're already in the mix with money. I just love. I just love when motherfuckers like completely forget where the fuck they came from. Like nigga, yeah. you have been shot through your mouth and like nine times in the leg. <laughs> he's only small. He's only small now, Shane, because they they put that nigga on steroids to to pump up. To build back the muscle that got lost when bullets went through his legs, like that's that's Roy muscle that you're looking at, bro. It, oh, it, I didn't realize that. I didn't oh, realize. Yeah, no, that. I mean that, that's you know he got he got steroid treatments to you know to build back his fucking <laughs> structure. His muscle, and and and, structure. and Yoshi Yoshi Yoshiko White. I'm not saying Cube and Fiddy are in the same, but the conversation <laughs> with Black Twitter and a lot of Black folks are lumping them the same. It seems like there it's it's a gotcha grab, and that's why. But I'm not saying no. Cube has a totally different agenda, or at least trying to have some kind of semblance of an agenda. Fifty Cent is just like, yo, I don't want to lose no money on my taxes. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to pay more in my taxes. That's the only motivation with Fifty, and 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 the bottom line is it makes him look bad. Whereas in Cube, I can understand to a point. But he still needs to get with all the people that are actually got the intellect and have been doing the shit he thinks he's came up with. That's the one thing I don't like. There have been a bunch of motherfuckers trying to do the same shit for decades. So don't act like Cube came up with it. No, it was other people. And, and pretty on the left and the right, no. Uh, the, the steroids does not mean that, that Citrus is going to bulk up. Uh, Citrus Hitler. Uh, that what you know because with 50 Cent when he did the steroids he was also going through physical therapy to build himself up and the steroids help with that but with with Cinnamon Hitler he is um, just doing steroids and then going to Wendy's you know what I'm saying <laughs> and it's hard to, it's hard yeah and it's hard Man, to I get that big ass Cadillac I am lifting this burger Cadillac through the drive through through the drive through <laughs> like that shit don't sound right so. It's a hassle every time they go to the drive through. You get that four. Yo, um, <laughs> let me make sure so I yeah, remind steroids people. Steroids and Wendy's don't do it. They don't work. Um, make sure that people check out. Make sure you follow Savage AF Radio at Savage AF Radio. Make sure you follow at Black Pedro. If you're not following me, you need to follow me. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with you. What you doing? What are you doing with your life? Um, make sure you follow. Also, subscribe to the podcast version of the show, which is on iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, and Spotify. Spotify. Also, Spotify. Yeah, I'm going to let Pedro say it because he does it so much better than me. And make sure you subscribe. Not subscribe. Make sure you follow us and subscribe to the YouTube channel, the new, the new YouTube channel, which you need to go to YouTube right now. And right now, right now, don't wait. And subscribe to Savage AF World. Put in Savage AF World YouTube and subscribe to it. And for shows you missed, you can check out later. Now, we got one more topic we're going to talk about. We got a little bit more time. I know we can go longer, but we're going to make sure we keep it tight from now on so we can make sure that people can watch it over and over again when you want to. I don't know why my voice changed like that, but I want you to watch it as much as possible. And the next thing, I think the way Pedro wrote this was brilliant. And I want to say to you, Pedro, your segues are delicious. Your writing is impeccable. And, and fantastic.
Thank you, sir. I do appreciate your accolades. Um, hey, that's my I'm son. Your, I'm your mother. I'm your daddy. I'm that nigger in the alley. In the I'm alley. Your pusher. Uh, like a lot of the younger people on here is like, what the fuck are they talking about? Actually, Curtis Mayfield had a song. It was a song. Um, Push Man. Yeah, it was Curtis. It was Curtis Mayfield, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm the nigga in the alley. I'm your pusher. So, um, so it's this is the thing about pusher, it. Yeah, let them know. Your pusher. Um, of the of this last drug epidemic that really you know for those of us who grew up in urban areas like myself on the east side of detroit shang i know new york saw it yeah uh chicago la you know new orleans like all, all of these cities we saw these crack invasions right uh, the crack epidemic that america didn't give a fuck about and nancy reagan was like just say no you know and Right. That's something, that's something Chappelle talked about. Like, yeah, just say no to this highly addictive drug that's flooded your town. All of a sudden, it's making you feel better about your fucked up life situation because the government isn't providing you with any jobs and your kids can't go to school and get a pop education. And when you come home, they're hungry as fuck because your job doesn't provide enough groceries and you don't want to. I'm sorry. <laughs> that, it happened. He, he, you I know what? He digressed. Listen. What at right like uh, Eve Apples four said Anders four Apple seventy nine sixteen said we are hood elegant. Thank you. I and I digress. I do apologize. However, that's okay. Let them know. Let them know, Pedro. Purdue Pharma, one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world, yeah, has been now fined eight point three billion dollars for their role in pushing opioids into. America, okay? And when we say opioids, we talking about white folk drugs, okay? Yeah. Um, and this is a this is an epidemic that hit white communities very hard. You know, not to say that black people don't do fentanyl or any pills or anything, but this this was a, a, a phenomenon. The reason why it got this level and they, they're charging people for shit and getting money off of it is because it was affecting white kids, right? Create, like right. killing white kids and white people left and right. Oxycontin, AJ Fit 365, we know what you're talking about. So right. when, it, when, when it became a problem there, just like, just like with crack, once white people started smoking crack, they were like, this is dangerous. Why is this What the hell is going on here? Um, right, and you know who, J. Cole got a song, it's called Freestyle, it's um, uh, album of the year, and in that song, he says it's like when it's Jamal and crack, they didn't give a fuck. But when it's little Billy, when it's little Billy, everything goes to commercials. And, you know, Oxycontin's dangerous. It's bad. Okay. Yeah. And little Billy, I found little Billy sucking the German shepherd's dick in the backyard. Okay. And it's just not what Billy would normally do. He wouldn't suck his, the, the German shepherd's dick. You know what he would do? He would lick his ass. And now he's sucking his dick. Something's wrong. He's a German shepherd dick sucker now. Come on. But, I mean, but, that's but, what they do. They care. They care about they care about it when it affects them. But the thing is, then they try to act like, well, we're all one people and we're human beings and white lives matter. And I hate that. Oh my God, okay. when they say white lives matter. You know, you know, so here, here we get it. Yeah. Yeah. Here, here here's the reality though, right? We we see the hypocrisy and the reaction to the drug epidemics and, and the communities that were affected by the, the respective drugs. Um, but I mean, and, and what this what this case proves, what this this finding and uh, this this um, you know penalty eight 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 billion dollars proves is which that, is that's a crazy number though. You got to admit that's fucking it, bananas. It, which is it, good. It's guilt, right? It's guilt, but. It's guilt and admission and, and acknowledgement that pharma, or um, yeah, big pharma, but in, in this case specifically Purdue Pharma, but big pharma in general, because they're not the only company that did this, um, right. and, and it's going to be done with other drugs, they are that nigga in the alley. And <laughs> yeah. For years now, that nigga in the alley has gotten, and, and, and 
ridiculous trillion of time, a ridiculous amount of time in terms of jail and punishment for selling an infinitely small amount of drugs compared to what Purdue Pharma did in terms of addicting a large swath of this nation. So what what beyond this this penalty here, I would really love and what I want white America to realize is that European Americans as we should say, is that the nigga in the alley this time, they got your kid addicted and now they only have three teeth and they always go, What was that? Hey. You know, and they Why are you twitching? Potatoes, Why are you twitching? Why you twitching? Why you twitching? Why are you twitching? Yeah. That all that happened because the nigga in the alley was a white guy in a business suit and a lab coat and a lawyer suit uh, and a judge's robe, right? Like, they, their whole system allowed these drugs to be pushed to your kids, to you, right. to a whole community. And they didn't give a fuck. The reason they're paying this money, they knew how addictive this shit is. Okay? They're, they're developing drugs that are more addictive, right? And stronger pain relievers that will get you more hooked because they got they, that's what they make. Get hooked and you'll drugs, get hooked dog. quick. They make drugs, my nigga. Like they're always gonna need you to take more. And, like, right, and, more. and 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 even when they come up with one, there's gonna be another one that is gonna be even more powerful, and they're gonna you're gonna need it more. So the 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 fact that they get hit over the head with this, I think that they shouldn't just get. Find. I think they should get fined and prison time, and they should put them in a cell with the guy that was going that got four years for fucking having a bag of weed. That they need to overturn all that shit too. That's what it is. It's a, dis a disproportionate amount of black people that are in jail, which basically, you know, is part of the prison system that they wanted us in there anyway. So I think that all of these people that were part of that board, every one of them that's part of that board that came up with this shit. They should be in prison, and they should be getting face fucked by a dude named Abdullah. That's what they should be. It should be a dude named Abdullah. I don't even want it to be a dude named Jerome. I want it to be a dude named Abdullah, because you know that Abdullah probably swinging that gorilla dick, and I want him to just smash the back of their throat to the point where like, <coughs> and they just, I can't take it. Well, you took it when you were giving all of the fucking drugs to everybody and you knew what you were doing, but you didn't give a fuck about black kids when they were dealing with cracks. Fuck them. Fuck them. And, and, and fuck them. Pretty on the left and the right said worse than crack. I'll say this. It's, it's, they function in the same way. And what it is is right. that what crack does is it, 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 you infuse something to distract people, right? It's this feel-good thing. And like Ms. Adverb says, uh, everybody wants everything instantaneous now, right? And especially when you're struggling and going through life, you, you need, a lot of people feel the need for something to just relieve that pain. Even if it's just for an hour, baby. Even if it's just for a day. Even if it's just for a minute. I just right. need a break from all of this shit. You know what I'm saying? So we, we built that society of sort of instant gratification, but also this, you know, kind of, permanent subjugation from the top down so that the people on the bottom who are getting oppressed uh, are going to be looking and, and ready for a quick fix. So then the top creates a quick fix, i.e. crack or meth or oxycotton, fentanyl, these right. things. Right? And you feed it to them and now it, it distracts you from the fact that the government isn't providing jobs and services and education, right? Now right. we're dealing with crime, right? Because that that's a by, that's always a byproduct of the drug game, right? It's like once you can't get your fix anymore and you're fully hooked, you're gonna do whatever, dog. You just you right. You're gonna you you, yeah. You're gonna end up busting Miss McGillicuddy in the back of the head for a fucking her check, and that's just the way it is. So right now, I know they got hit over the head with billions, but I think they should go to prison too. It should be absolutely stiff prison terms because that's what they did, just like they did with the. The, the brother that was just trying to get by to make sure his kids had shoes. So it's the same shit. So I, I just feel like, fuck them. I really do. I think they should, the, the whole board that came up with it, they should all be in jail. But that's not going to happen. Because you know what? When you got money that big, it's just not the way it goes. I mean, eight, the Purdue has to pay $8 billion for turning that's folks into it. Yeah, that's I mean, yeah, for sure. Yeah, so, oh, oh, here we go. Savage AF, brought to you by the World Famous Laugh Factory, powered by us 
<laughs> and make sure I like yeah us nobody else. Oh, make Who sure that you guys and runs it in two thumbs. This guy. <laughs> this guy. All right. So make sure that you follow at Savage AF Radio. Make sure you follow at Savage AF Radio, and also make sure you follow at Black Pedro. For the people that's already on the page, you already know what it is. Tell your friends, friends, friends to follow both of us and to follow us. You know, which is comedian Shane. Yeah, there you go. But make sure that you guys and Eve underscore Apple 79 just put the YouTube channel, which is Savage AF World. That is on YouTube, the Savage AF World. Make sure that you check us out on Savage AF World, which is our new YouTube channel. And you can see past shows. If you miss some shit, you can get some shit. And that's how the shit goes. All right? We're going to end it. We've, we've actually did a little bit over an hour. But because we've been running a little bit longer this time, but we're going to keep them tight from now on. And we want to make sure that, and when we do After Darks, we're going to switch in. I'm going to let you know something. Me and Pedro have been talking about it. We might do some weekend wrap up where we can actually invite people on the show and we can have, you know, like a Zoom show and we'll have different people. So we're working on that YouTube channel. Website's going to be popping. We got a lot of shit coming up. Thank you guys for supporting us. Um, tomorrow night, uh, let them know. Tomorrow night, we're actually not going to be on at um, six. Right at six, yeah. We're going to wait till after the uh, this last presidential uh, debacle. I mean, <laughs> debate. Sorry. Debate. Is it debacle? Uh, Is it we're debacle? Gonna see, we're going to see how the cutoff mics during the two minute um, addresses uh, works, but. We we will be on right after the debate tomorrow, whatever time that is. So as soon as the debates are over, uh, join we'll us jump right on. Here. Comedian saying at Savage AF Radio, we're gonna be on it, y'all. We'll do it. All right, we'll we'll see you tomorrow. We'll wrap up now. Thank you guys for your support, all you motherfuckers out there. Be safe. Wash your hands. Show me what you're working with. Wash your hands. Show me what you're working with. We out. Damn it. God damn it. Hurrah!